to go through and detail around the sideburn areas and also the nape to remove the excess hair. And we're going to be using our nape razor and slowly cut. Um, definitely hold the skin taut and go in and finish with our razor. Again, checking always afterwards. Don't just go in and cut. Cut and then see if you like the desired effect. Okay, that looks good. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to move on to the other side. Moving on to the other side, we're going to take a quick visual reference to make sure that we have evenness. Pull the skin taut. side. Okay, we have consistent length. Now we're going to just move on to the nape area. Okay, now we're moving on to the nape area. We want to tip our client's head over, make sure that we have tautness of that muscle. And then we're going to go through, we spray, sprayed our blade glide on there to make the cutting of the hair easier. Again, on this haircut, because it's so very textured, I'm not going for a complete military look. I want it to have some unevenness to it. So again, make sure the skin is nice and taut. We'll go in and slowly cut around with our razor until we get the desired look. Very careful, very detailed. You're dealing with a straight blade directly on the skin. So your blade angle is very important. Ideally, I like to go in initially with the blade flat and then slowly increase my angle until the hair starts to come off. If we go flat, we can't create any injury to the skin. As we see, that's cleaning it up nicely. Okay, that looks good for me on that side. We're just going to switch sides and tip our client over again. Make sure that the skin is taut and detail like we did the other side. Again, start off flat with the blade and slowly increase your angle until the hair comes off. Again, the look is what's important. So wherever you need to put your client, your tool, your hands to create what you're looking for. Now we're going to step back, have a look at our balance to see how it looks overall. I can see a little bit more here that I need to do. Okay, now we're just going to go through. We're going to put some product in the haircut, dry it off, and then we'll see you back in a minute and we'll have the finished look for you.